Hey, it's been a long time since I've talked to you and I wanted to uh, post this video. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine at work uh, a few moments ago and in the conversation um, it got pretty um, pretty intense in the fact of us being on both one accord and how excited uh, we got in the conversation just talking about who, how good God is and how great um, he is and um, just talking about all the goodness of, of, of Christ and the Holy Spirit and I wanted to share that with you um, on, on it really more about um, you know the great deception uh, you know the scriptures talk about uh, that in the time that Jesus walked the earth or, or more specific I'm going to talk about the time that Jesus walked the earth how Jesus performed miracles he healed people. Um, he had interactions with people, and they left change, never to be the same again. But there are also those individuals, especially as the scriptures say, that even in his own hometown, Christ was unable to do perform those miracles. Well, the great deception I'm talking about is what the world will face when Christ returns. Think about it. When Christ returns, Christ is going to return in the full glory of God. The trumpet will sound. The heavens will open up. Christ will appear in the sky with a legion of angels at his side. The dead in Christ shall rise. In the twinkling of an eye, it shall be over. But it's after that that I'm talking of. When the whole world sees that Christ returns, that he is Lord, and that all that we've been talking about, talking about for the last 2,000 years is true. And everybody will know that there is only one living God. And he is a triune being. God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and the God the Holy Spirit. Even when that's said and done, when Christ leaves, and the Holy Spirit is taken, there will be a great deception because there will be people, the entire world, all that is left, will see and know that there is only one God, the true living God. And even in seeing it for their own eyes, they the veil will be pulled back over their eye, the scales will be over the eye, and they will not be able to see. That, my friends, will be the great deception, to have seen and still be told that is that that is a lie and that is not the truth. I tell you this because we as believers, we as Christians, we who call upon the name of Jesus must go out there and try and and save and and as many as many people as possible to see that there is only one living God and that there is only one way to him and that is through his son Jesus Christ because when it is all said and done there will be a great deception because the Holy Spirit will be not will not be there to guide and lead us in, in the truth to guide us in all things people will see and still not believe I encourage you that if you're watching watching this that you make every moment of your life count that you bear or that you bear witness to the word of truth that you are a living testimony of God's awesome power in your life i pray this message finds you well that you continue to go out boldly and confidently without intimidation without um without um compromise knowing who you are, whose you are, and who you serve. I leave you with that. And I pray that it gets deep down in your spirit and bears fruit. I'm Cliff Notes. Class dismissed.